Uh, my name is Leah Bendel and right now I am Director of the Environmental Science Program in the Faculty of Environment and I'm also a Professor in Biological Sciences in the Faculty of Science. My research th that I do is um, under, defined under um, a, a wide umbrella called ecotoxicology and it um, looks at everything from nutrient dynamics and how nutrients cycle through ecosystems and linking the structure of an ecosystem and the composition of an ecosystem to how it actually functions all the way to looking at um, uh, geochemistry and how metals are partitioned amongst various components of the food web. So it's uh, a fairly wide, wide field and so there's lots that you can do and no limits to the uh, questions you can ask. I teach my research so um, because a lot of what I do, for example, I worked up in the tar sands, did a fair amount of work um, looking at um, wetland restoration up at the tar sands, did a lot of work in aquaculture, um, impacts of aquaculture, so they're all very timely topical subjects and I bring in that research um, into my actual uh, teachings and, and give them as examples and as case studies and use my own experience um, as a researcher but also dealing with the industry and dealing with the um, uh, somewhat um, caustic uh, interactions that you can have with industry when you're uh, uh, trying to uh, restrict activity. We need to empower the students with the ability to do something. They know what's going on. They know if they're they're in the subject. They they have uh, are fully aware of, of uh, uh, what is happening uh, on a, on a planetary scale. And enough of that. Let's let's shift it and let's start teaching like positive stuff. And that's moved me more towards um, restoration and empowering students with the tools and the training and the ability to go out and actually apply themselves to fix things. And so it'd be a small scale sort of at, at first, but it's something that if enough of, do, enough of us are doing this, I mean, it could be something that we start to see incremental changes in, in systems around us. And uh, so when I teach now, it's going to be more of an emphasis of, you know this background information, you know where we're going to it, but this is what we can do. And this is what we can do, for example, on this river system that's had this impact. And this is how we can start putting it back together in some type of functioning system.